Hello and welcome to a very special Babby Purr story time. My name is Kate Claxton and I am a children's author. You may have already enjoyed my first book, My Mum's a Tiger, but today I am going to read my brand new story, Searching for Aurora. So this book is written by me and it's illustrated by the very, very clever Amber Orozco. This is Mallory and this is her dog, Venny. And this is their story. Mallory was an adventurer. She had sailed ferocious oceans and explored humongous jungles. She'd even flown to the moon. On paper, that is. With the help of her paintbrush and her imagination, Mallory had travelled the world. And wherever she went, Benny the dog went too. Mum, I think I'm ready for a real adventure. Please, can we go outside? Not now, Mallory. I'm working tonight and Nana's on her way over. You should be ready for bed. It's dark outside. Mallory sulked off to unpack her adventure bag. Not only was she still not allowed a real adventure, now she wouldn't even get a proper bedtime story. Nana always fell asleep before the end of the book. Just then, Mallory heard Nana at the door. Did you catch it last night? Another magical display of Aurora, Nana asked Mum. Aurora? <gasps> Mallory loved lions. This sounded adventurous. A beautiful pink and green one. It danced for hours, said Nana. Perhaps I'll catch it tonight if we're not busy, said Mum. Mallory couldn't believe what she was hearing. How could nobody have told her about this dancing lion? Mallory decided that she would be the one to catch Aurora and bring it home for Mum. It would be her first real adventure. All the best adventures started with a plan, so she pulled out her paintbrush and got to work. She was going to take Venny, the dog, a torch, a big blanket, her paints and her paintbrush as always and snacks. Very important. That night, once Nana had fallen asleep, Mallory grabbed her adventure bag and tiptoed out of her room. Outside in the garden, Mallory had never seen the sky so dark. She flicked on her torch. This is what we're looking for, Venny. It's pink and green and probably dancing. Then they heard a noise. Scratch, scratch, scratch. Mallory gulped at the thought of Aurora's huge claws. She shone her torch behind the shed. Five snails and a spider, but no Aurora, she called to Benny. And then they heard another noise. <sighs> rustle, rustle, rustle. Mallory wondered if lions could climb trees and shone her torch upwards to find out. A startled starling flew away. It's just a bird. Keep looking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Another sound came from a pile of leaves. Something was hiding. Mallory shone her torch on the leaves and a giant tail appeared. It's Aurora, Mallory cried. She pulled out the blanket and jumped towards the creature. Meow! Out sprang the neighbour's cat. Mallory sighed. There was no sign of the lion anywhere. Just then, Mallory had an idea. Snacks! Perhaps if we sit very still and open our snacks, the creature will sniff them out and come to us. So they settled into the leaves to sit and wait for the mystery beast to stop by. Mallory felt so small out in the garden without Mum. She pulled up the blanket and pointed her torch out into the darkness. There was no way they'd miss Aurora now. They just had to wait. So they waited and waited. They waited so long they fell asleep. When Mallory woke up, it was completely dark. The torch had run out of battery. Finny, wake up! Up! Up, look up there. 
The sky was filling with coloured lights. The lights swirled across the sky like the colours of Mallory's paintings. She pulled out her brush and began to copy them. As she traced the trails of colour, Mallory forgot all about searching for Aurora. She wished Mum and Nana were there to see the lights too. Once the lights had faded, Mallory snuck back inside. What an amazing sight she'd seen, but she hadn't been a real adventurer. She hadn't caught Aurora for Mum. The next day was Saturday, Mallory's favourite. Mum was home all day and Mallory couldn't wait to show her the new painting. Good morning, my loves, called Nana. Did you catch Aurora last night, she asked Mum. Mum sighed. No, I was too busy again. Mallory burst into tears. I'm so sorry, Mum. I tried to catch Aurora for you, but I couldn't find that dancing lion anywhere. Nana and Mum both looked confused. I did paint you a picture of the lights in the sky, Mallory sniffed. Nana pointed at the painting. So you did catch it after all. What a beautiful picture of Aurora. Now Mallory was confused. This isn't Aurora, Nana. It looks nothing like a lion. Nana smiled. The Aurora Borealis, the Northern Lights. They're electric winds that change colour in the sky. That's what I saw dancing, not a lion. Aurora? Not Aurora? Mallory beamed. She'd had a real adventure after all. Well, it's definitely my turn to see Aurora tonight, laughed Mum. How about we stay up late to catch Aurora together tonight? And with a smile as bright as all the stars, Mallory replied, I know just what to pack. So Mallory got a bit confused, didn't she? The Aurora Borealis and the Northern Lights. Perhaps you've heard of them before. At the back, we've got some lovely facts about the Aurora. What adventures will you have? What can you find in the night sky? Searching for Aurora is available with Bobby Purr now. And I believe it's part of the book club this week as well. So I hope you enjoy getting involved in the story and thinking about all the adventures you can have in nature. Thank you. Bye.